The truth is, though, you wanted to see her, wasn't it? It had been a dozen years since Swordfu School. He'd followed every rumor about her, every scrap of news. Not that he still loved her. After all, she was his enemy. No, it was solely because, know your enemy. But it would be great to see her. Even if they faced off across sword points, as they'd done so many times at school. The world was a less interesting place without her. Hey guys, Reynardo here. Here with the Sky Ripper. And we're here to see Zenobia. So please, hit the like button. And let me see Zenobia. Let me know. We will, pal. We will. Oh, shit. Ooh, chest. Really like the sound his sword made in the Damn air. It. Well, there's no way over there. Go this way. Haha. Once you try it, you're hooked. Ah, more chest. Nope, nothing. Alter. Sky Ripper. Oh. Hey, a workbench. Hey. Hey, a workbench. He could try out his new bling. Killing enemies gives you 3% sword energy back. Alright, cool. Come on, Sky Ripper, let's go try out my new gem. Ooh, let's go this way. Something rare. Ooh, what's there? Uh, the hell is that? I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm with you, buddy. This couldn't be good for global warming. Well, that was close. Ooh, a chest. 
have another gem. Let's go, let's try rip it this way. Alright, let's go back to the workbench. And we still have 40 left. Increases resistance to physical damage by 20. Cool. Ooh, a chest. More ore. Zenobia was leading down. the Imperial Ravens here. She loved to be in the vanguard. Where the danger was. Where she needed her wits. Ah, Renato pitied whoever she was fighting. Especially if it was him. Come on, Sky Ripper, this way. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Aha! Die. Whoa. Ha! Bet you never saw that coming. Aha! Gogglers. As I was continuing on, something here. No, 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 no! Fuck! I didn't want to transport yet. Oh shit! Not everyone knew how to use magical gems. Of course, not everyone had magical gem gauntlets like he did. Renardo wasn't entirely sure how he was going to capture Zenobia. She'd be expecting him. And he didn't have Lapino to cook up a clever plan. Why was it again that he hadn't got the core? Because I love her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there a sword I can use? No. Your hits cause shield grunts to drop their. Ooh! Yes! See, I told you I didn't need that second tier skill after all. Oh. An altar. Shit. This way. Aha! Perfect! Whoa. What was that? What happened? Renardo slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. Where were her guards? Finally, he reached her bedroom. She was curled up on her bed. Oh, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. How sleek, how soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She vanished, and he suddenly noticed he couldn't move except his mouth. In fact, soon he couldn't keep his mouth shut. He told Zenobia everything. Skyripper, 
the rebellion plans, even where the secret rebel base was, until he was hoarse. It was some kind of truth spell. A talky, talky, talky truth spell. She called her father by far speaker toad and filled his majesty in. But why didn't he get the core? Croaked the far speaker in, something like his majesty's croak. Because I missed you, darling. Renato grinned. He doesn't even know why, frowned Zenobia. That makes no sense. It's a trap, shouted the emperor. I'll meet you at the outpost, and I'll bring my interrogators. Hmm. If Renardo came face to face with the Emperor, maybe he could assassinate him. Assassinate or him! Smarter uh, and safer to turn Zenobia against her father. Father! Alright. So we could go meet the Emperor. Renardo's irrational decision to find Zenobia's after collecting the Sky Ripper's armature turned out to be a disaster. But maybe he could salvage the situation. The Emperor was heading for the Nexus. Bernardo could attempt an assassination. He would let Zenobia take him to the Nexus, and then he would escape. Or, we could turn Zenobia against her father. He could turn Zenobia against her father. He could show her evidence of the Emperor's madness, but they would need to pay a visit to the scientists on the Nexus. He knew exactly what to say to make her listen. Eeny, meeny, miny, ma. This one. You're lying, she said. Somehow you're lying. The spell hadn't worn off yet. He had to tell the truth. The trick was in making sure she wouldn't believe it. The core is perfectly safe, he said. And he tried his hardest to sound sincere. In fact, I almost went to get it myself. <sighs> Fine then, interrogate as it is, she said angrily. I gave you a chance. I you gave you a chance to especially gentle, even by weasel standards. Weasel! Zenobia had locked him in the guest quarters on her ship, and she'd forgotten it had a toilet that, like all skyship toilets, could be vented into the abyss. This was not the sort of slippery fox he wanted to be, but just as they were about to land, he threw the latch, wrinkled his nose, and leapt through the open latrine. Ew. If you guys are enjoying this Let's Play, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment down below on anything you want to talk about, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, my friends, my name is Rain, and this is Stories, The Path of Destinies.